Hey Aquarius, this is Soul, and Aquarius, this is your week ahead. Uh, energies beginning uh, January 6th and ending January 12th, uh, 2020. Yes, January 2020. Wow. All right, Aquarius, this uh, energy is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Uh, once again, Happy New Year, Aquarius. Happy New Decade. And without further ado, let's get into your energies <clears throat> to see what's coming up and what you have to look forward to. I'm using the Marchetti uh, Tarot deck once again to um, deliver your messages. Okay? Hope all is well, my fellow water bearers. All cards are in the upright position. And if they're not, then I'm just going to flip around and read it in the upright position. They should be. So let's see the energies for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs for the week of January 6th to start and ending January 12th, uh, 2020. Yes. Okay. So I want to get these readings done. My Philadelphia Eagles have made it to the playoffs. <laughs> wow. So yes, that was an exciting game last week. <clears throat> anyway, shadow card energy, Aquarius, uh, energy that may play out along with the rest of the cards that I will be selecting for you relates to that of well, we have the Seven of Cups, okay? So we have some options going on here. Some of us may have some options. Seven of Cups is that type of energy where it's a card of illusion. So cups represent, um, you know, all things related to relationships. So I always say, you know, when the devil shows up and the Seven of Cups shows up, that you see people for who they are uh, and not what you want them to be because that's what the illusion aspect of the Seven of Cups, you know, could present to you. Others is multiple choices. Always say when you uh, have uh, multiple options to pick and choose from, make sure that you are selecting things that are going to uh, resonate for you for your highest good because you don't want uh, to make a bad choice or a bad selection and then have to end up regretting it and take a bite in your ass. You don't want that, okay? Cancer represents the Seven of Cups, also the other water signs, Pisces and Scorpio. So we start off with the Seven of Cups. Your focus for the week, Aquarius, relates to that of well we have a three of wands so there's something positive moving forward this is a traveling card as well so it could be for some of you short distance long distance traveling but when it you know three of wands six of wands six of swords chariot shows up always say save passage to save passage from now if it was in the uh, you know reverse position then i would say it would still be those things but it might be that some of you can expect some sort of delays or cancellations related to traveling Something positive is moving forward that maybe, you know, because we are in 2020, uh, maybe there was some energy left over in 2019 projects related to, um, you know, that were placed on hold and now you want to move forward with them. Whatever that is, Aquarius, something is going to or you're going to be moving something forward. Three of Wands is a very positive card. And like I said before, it could relate to um, the Two of Wands energies, uh, you know, going back here to stretching it to 2019's energy, those ideals and those uh, things that are coming to your mind, writing things down, planning things, but it's only for the future, uh, maybe because the two of wands showed up, um, you know, you didn't have all the resources, or it was just that, you know, planning things for the future. This is the green light that it's okay to go ahead and move forward with those energies. Okay. Three of wands represents the fire energies, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, male or female. So let's see what else is coming up here for my fellow water bearers for this upcoming week. One more. Yeah, we'll go here. All right, Aquarius, following the Three of Wands, uh, we have we have the Knight of Cups, okay? So the Knight of Cups is that uh, court card that's representing uh, emotional support. It could be also representing a new relationship. It could be that someone is traveling uh, with a partner. Now, it could be a romantic partner. It could be traveling with a friend. Cups also to represent family uh, members. So it could be some sort of traveling going on with um, family or traveling to see family, romantic partners, friendships, and so forth. Uh, Knight of Cups is the knight in shining armor. So, of course, not only is the emotional support for some of you going to be available, um, you know, it, the Cups represents um, romance, love, 
relationship. So it could be a new friend. It could be a new romantic partnership, uh, something definitely going on with the family and so forth. But this is a very dynamic card to have uh, <clears throat> and receive in this uh, reading for you. OK, following the uh, Knight of Cups here, uh, Aquarius. Now we have the death card, Major Arcana. This is the death card in this deck. And it's usually a major transformation type of energy. So somebody, but it could, it could be in alignment with the start or the turnover of the new year. Okay, out with the old, in with the new. So whatever it is that you're cutting loose or trying to cut loose, then, you know, if you are able to cut it loose, uh, Aquarius, then that means the death card is going to present uh, for some of you something uh, totally new. Okay, this is a life changing situation or major uh, for some of you, a major life changing situation. Uh, so whatever it is that you need to release and let go, uh, the death card said, go ahead and be brave enough to release it and let it go. But we have something uh, greater, far more better for you. Now, that could be a relationship that could be a uh, departing of, as I mentioned before in another video. People just getting rid of shit that they no longer need. You know, they go through their, um, you know, um, garage or their uh, closets or something like that. And they want to donate uh, some clothes that they no longer fit. That's part of the death energy. OK, it doesn't mean uh, physical or denote physical death. It's just meaning that there's some aspect of your energy uh, that needs to be released. And then once you identify whatever it is that needs to be released, then there's something new. That's coming up. OK, Scorpio represents that death card and other water sign energies, uh, cancer and Pisces, male or female. Up next after the uh, death card. Now we have the now there's the two of wands. And I just said <laughs> about the two of wands. So there's more ideals, more plan, you know, future uh, planning going on. Because this three of wands is your focus here. Something from, you know, previous events is moving forward. All right. But they're still coming in with more ideals and more, uh, you know, planning for some of you writing things down to carry on further in the future. This could be for some of you since it's a low energy wands. Uh, two of wands always represents low energy. So something may not be moving fast enough for you. Something is uh, stagnating a little bit. Number two, it could be in reference to another person. Uh, it could also be a situation or a, an event, whatever the energy is for you. All right. So, again, fire sign energy, Aries, Leo or Sagittarius, male or female represents the two of wands. Coming up next now is your energy, the Ten of Swords. It just showed up here for Capricorn. So Ten of Swords is not, it was the, the backstabbing card, but it's not denoting actual physical backstabbing. I usually get the surgical procedures, inpatient, outpatient surgical procedures. It may not be you, Aquarius, but it may be someone that you know. Um, but this is also a very, you know, a positive card to receive because the 10 always is about a change of energy. So whatever conflicting stuff or energies that you may have been dealing with, it's either about to uh, change for some of you or it's going to be winding down. All right. So that's what I get. The Ten of Swords um, representing your energy and the uh, energy of Gemini and Libra. Some sort of major conflicting energies are winding down or about to complete uh, themselves. And then also, too, it could be in connection with the death card, having to get rid of something that was uh, no longer resonating for you, for your highest good, whatever that energy may be. All right. Following the Ten of Swords, Aquarius. Now we have the uh, King of Wands. It was reversed. So I'm going to read it in the upright position because I already made my set my intentions that all the cards should be in the upright position. It's right underneath. And even though this is the king and the knight is above, well, it could be, you know, um, male, female, male, male, it doesn't really matter, but there's a relationship. Could be father, could be mother, could be grandmother, could be grandfather. Now I'll connect this energy here again, along with the three of wands, that there's something going on for some of you that I'm picking up that could be related to visiting family members, family members visiting you. Uh, it could be, like I said, romantic partnerships, dealing with friendships, that could be, uh, those energies at a distance. Uh, King of wands is a, um, card that comes in where you're you're focused on something or someone uh things about to heat up for you uh also too uh you might be something you know that you're you know very passionate about that's the king of wands energies focused passionate things heating up and 
it also could represent, you know, sexual energy and sexual expression. Fire sign energies, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, male or female. Could be a new connection, though, um, when it comes to, you know, romantic specifically, because it does sit underneath that night. And it doesn't really matter if they're both male energies, because these are, um, could be, you know, the king could represent female, the knight could represent female, and so forth, back and forth. Up next is the five of pentacles. So there's some sort of worries or concerns that some of you may have about your finances. Now, the death card over <clears throat> the death card over top of the uh, the five of pentacles for some of you is actually uh, is beneficial. It will be beneficial because there's going to be a change in some of your finances. So if there was some energy related to uh, you coming up short, not having to uh, pay uh, the expectations to pay your bills or whatever, or whatever the five of pentacles, because uh, it's a loss. The five of pentacles always um, represents a loss. And you can see that the person's on the outside feeling left out in the cold. And then in the inside is the warmth and all of this food that he's he or she is looking at. So it could be uh, something in relationship uh, you know, it could be that an actual person is giving you the cold shoulder treatment. All kinds of the energies could be coming in here with the five of pentacles. But because the major arcana, the death card sits over top, that means that somebody is about to experience or undergo a major financial uh, change. And I feel that the fin uh, financial change is going to be for the better. OK, now had this and just to let you know how I read these energies here. If the death card was underneath and the five of pentacles, then it would be a different message. OK, so somebody's about to experience a major uh, financial change. And I feel that the change is going to be for the better for some of you. Final card, the five of pentacles uh, before I proceed represents the earth energies, um, Capricorn, Taurus and Virgo, male or female. And then your last card is another 10. It's the will of fortune, major arcana. So we end this reading here. You got um the death card, two major arcanas, uh, which is not, you know, which is not bad, but this is a very fortunate card. So this is my fate and destiny card. And for some of you being at the right place at the right time for any attachments to any endeavors. Uh, and then, you know, some could be lucky and, um, you know, when it comes to winnings, windfalls, lotteries, if you play the lotteries, play responsibly. Uh, don't bet the farm, as I always say. But there's something that's very fortunate about to take place uh, for some Aquarians uh, this upcoming week. All right. And I would love to hear um, what those energies um, are going to be for some of you. The aspect of the major or Canada death card is about that. I feel that it's more attached to um you know, begin again, new year, pushing away out all the old stuff related to 2019. And now you want a fresh start and new beginning. The death card will present something. If you're hanging on to something that you need to let go, identify what it is <clears throat> that is not serving your highest good. Let it go. And then uh, the death card always uh, guarantees that there is going to be something better for you or in store for you. OK, and we finish off, like I said before. Now, it's a number 10. So I always say about the tens, the energies don't they'll come, but they're not going to stick around because the wheel in this particular case is continuously turning. So there is some sort of aspect of having some sort of a fortune, great fortune for some of you during this week. OK, Aquarius, that's what I have for you. Please be safe. Emphasize the safety as always uh, and sending you out quite a bit of love and light your way until I talk to you again. Be well. Bye.